what is up guys in today's video i'm going to be going over everything you need to know about today's fortnite update as always if you guys do enjoy this video remember to give it a like subscribe if you'd like to see more and comment down below what you're looking forward to most with today's update because a lot of the content in this in this update is for the future pretty much nothing changed in game as of like right now if you're a battle royale player um but this is the final major update like the final download update of the season so this update added all of the content from now until the end of season three which is only like three weeks away at this point which is kind of crazy to think about so the first thing we're going to talk about is going to be the upcoming fall guys collab because with today's update the fall guys collab was added to fortnite and this is a pretty big collab similar to lego in that each skin will get a new fall guys version like you'll be a little like bean version of whatever fortnite skin you were and players will be able to create fall guys obstacle courses and fall guys maps in creative and then once these maps are published people will be able to play on them uh like other fortnite creative maps but in the fall guys creative maps you will be a little like fall guys bean so the fall guys collab is essentially a new mode added to fortnite in a way but we will also be getting some br content for the fall guys update later on and they're like later on in the season like i said this update added stuff that's coming later down the line there will be a fall guys themed mini game similar to the alien abduction mini game in chapter 2 season 7. i didn't play that season but from my understanding when you got abducted by the aliens you went onto the mothership and then you had to do whatever the mini game was and then if you completed this you will you got loot for doing so and while you were in the alien abduction mini game you were not able to be like messed with from other players you were like separated from everybody so my guess as to how this fall guys thing is going to work is you're going to you know whatever happens to get you into fall guys mode you're going to do that and then you're going to have to complete a fall guys obstacle course in the middle of your battle royale match and then if you choose to do that you will receive loot from doing so i know that sounds crazy and just hearing about the alien abduction minigame in chapter 2 season 7 when i wasn't playing I thought that sounded really weird and i didn't like the idea of it but from my understanding this was mostly like a positive thing like i don't know a lot of people that just hated this it was an optional thing you could do to get loot and if you didn't want to do it you didn't do it so i expect something similar with like the fall guys mini game collab i don't think you'll be forced to do it and then you know sure better loot is nice from time to time but if you have like a slightly better like ar or slightly better smg doesn't really change the game that much for you you know so i i think this will be mostly optional another thing that was added in today's update is going to be the cyber truck car model this was added to fortnite as a vehicle skin there was some speculation on whether or not it was going to be a skin or like a different vehicle completely it is a skin and you can actually get this for free by doing all nine days of the summer road trip challenges so each day there's going to be a different challenge unlocked the first challenge was just to get creative uh get xp and creative maps i don't know if that's going to be the thing but each day there's going to be a challenge you can do you'll get a free reward for doing so and then the ultimate reward for doing all the challenges is that you will get the cyber truck car model for free it seems like the cyber truck will come to the shop on august 7th to the 21st but the baja decal that you get from doing the challenges should never come to the shop so if you care about this and you care about you know exclusivity or rarity Try to make sure you're doing these nine days summer road trip challenges um from my understanding a different challenge will be unlocked each day but it's not like you need to do it that day you could wait until the final day and then just do all of them to my understanding reload mode will also be seemingly getting a decent amount of content in the near future with new weapons being cycled in so weapons that should be coming to reload soon i'll have it on screen now but i'll also read this the auto shotgun from chapter three the two shot shotgun from chapter three the primal shotgun from chapter three the combat pistol from chapter two i think this could be incredible for reload and i'm actually pretty excited to see this return because it hasn't been in the game since chapter two and it was only in the game for like a month if i remember correctly the suppressed pistol the suppressed smg the combat smg another one that'll probably be pretty solid the burst ar which i believe is the first time we'll be seeing this in quite a while um the flapjack or the red eye ar i think that will be really good in reload as far as range goes but a lot of times in reload i've just been using two weapons like a pump and, a, and then like a ar or a pump and a hammer AR. so like using pump red eye will maybe be a bit more difficult to pull off or a little bit more inconvenient to pull off 
The flapjack rifle, I think, will be very good. The suppressed AR, I've never been the biggest fan of that gun. The lever action rifle, I don't think I've ever played with that. And then the suppressed sniper as well. So those weapons should be returning to reload or being added to reload sometime between now and the end of the season, I would imagine. Um, and that's just kind of the nature of reload is it's a lot of recycled content. So like, I think last week they added a lot of guns to reload and people were like, wow, they're giving reload so much more attention than BR. But them just throwing in some guns into the mode that they designed years ago is not them putting a lot of effort into the mode. You know, I would imagine it's very easy to do that. So like, I'm not sure why the reload haters get like bent out of shape when it comes to that sort of thing. So I, I think it's a good if you enjoy reload mode, mixing up the loot pool, I think will keep it fresh and exciting. And I'm definitely looking forward to being able to play with some of those weapons again, uh, most notably the combat pistol. Also, trios mode should be coming to reload sometime in the near future as well, because this was added to the game. So between now, anytime they wanted, Epic could just turn on reload trios and then we would have that game mode option. So if you like playing trios, that's going to be nice for you. We also got some information on the upcoming build up event for season four. So with chapter five thus far we've get, been getting like a mini event every season with like the titan hand and then the pandora's box opening event seems like this season's mini event is going to have something to do with megalodon and a nitro pipeline being constructed on the bottom of the map because they did make some minor changes to that area today and over the course of the next few weeks this pipeline will see progress and we'll see more and more of this pipeline being constructed as it makes its way in tor uh, towards brutal beachhead and then once the pipeline makes its way to Brutal Beachhead, there will be a gauge that's added to this. And then, you know, seemingly things are going to happen with this gauge and with this pipeline that's going to set in course the events for Season 4. Like, we, we never really know exactly how these many events are going to go, like, this early on. But we've had a lot of live events in Fortnite. It, and, you know, we've had some many events recently. It's probably going to be something, like, catastrophic happening with the pipeline and failing. Or maybe it succeeds and whatever Megalodon wants to do uh, with the pipeline is catastrophic for the island in some way. And then again, like I said, that will kind of set in motion the uh, setup for upcoming the season four, which is upcoming. So I like these many events. I think this kind of time in Fortnite is usually something that's not the most exciting time to like kind of play the game and talk about the game. While live events, I think would be significantly better for sure. Having these many events at the end of the season just to kind of bring some hype and get the community talking, I, I think is a good thing. So I'm happy that they've been doing these over the course of Chapter 5, and I'm happy that we're getting another one for the end of Season 3. And then the final thing I want to talk about, and this is the only really immediate game gameplay impacting change with this update, is going to be that the ship in a bottle item from the Pirates of the Caribbean collab had its spawn rate increased. So you should be finding this item more frequently, and this is like even acknowledged by Fortnite themselves. It hasn't been acknowledged publicly or whatever, or like posted by leakers, but for some reason, my experience playing the game today, I was seeing the Flintlock pistol and the treasure map item a lot more frequently as well. So I'm not sure if they increase the spawn rate for all of the pirate items, or just it just so happened that I was seeing the Flintlock a lot more frequently. It's really hard to say when it comes to spawn rates in Fortnite, but we know for sure that the ghost ship uh, did have its spawn rate increase. So you like using that that's great for you that is going to be it for this video uh like i said it's not the most exciting update right now but we will be getting some stuff coming to the game between now and the end of the season and that's what was added today let me know down in the comments what you're most looking forward to and if you did enjoy this video remember to give it a like subscribe if you would like to see more and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching